Hey what's up guys welcome to another quick speed test between the Redmi Note 10 5G and the Samsung Galaxy S20. I am aware of that the Redmi Note 10 5G is not a best competitor to the Galaxy S20 but I just wanted to see how the Diamond City 700 5G chip is gonna perform against the Exynos 990 chip. So without wasting any time let's get into it. So as always starting from the boot up test and here we go. Now let's see which one of them is gonna perform better than the other one as in this test I will be doing gaming test, rendering test and RAM management test between the Redmi Note 10 5G and the S20 and actually this is Exynos variant not a Snapdragon and you can see here the first boot up test won by the Redmi Note 10 5G and the S20 is still stuck in the loading and you can see it was about 4 second difference between both smartphones while booting up. Now as you can see both of the smartphones are connected to the same Wi-Fi connection and also everything is completely turned off on the background. So starting from some light applications just for a warm up and here we go. Well you can see this one goes to the Galaxy S20 and it was about the same camera. Or well, we can see again this one goes to the Samsung Galaxy S20. Now coming to the third party applications and rendering test between the Note 10 5G and the S20. So at the end of this video I will share my honest opinion about both smartphones that which one you should buy for gaming. So stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so it was a gaming test, rendering test and RAM management test between the Redmi Note 10 5G and the Samsung Galaxy S20 and as you guys saw here, as I told you earlier, the Redmi Note 10 5G is not the best competitor to the Galaxy S20 but in this video I just wanted to see how the Diamond City 700 
chip are going to perform against the Exynos 990. Now everything is in front of you as both are 5G supported smartphone. So if you are looking for a best budget 5G supported smartphone, then I think you should definitely go for the Redmi Note 10 because it is the latest one and this is the most cheapest 5G smartphone right now in the market. But at the end you guys are here to judge so I would like to know your thoughts in the comment section about both smartphones. Okay guys it was all from us for today. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and give thumbs up to this video. Thanks for watching us and as always keep supporting us.